Hawking proved to be an infuriating third wheel Friday night for the Staten Yankees home opener. Due to construction for the Empire Outlets and New York Wheel, parking in the nearby left field lots was extremely reduced. Fans were forced to seek out other quote-unquote preferred lots by the St. George Courthouse or as well as the lot on Academy Place and Wall Street. It took us about 25 minutes to get from Richmond Terrace into the parking area. Uh, our concern is when we leave the ballpark, how long it's going to take to actually get our car and get out of here. Uh, so in the future, I don't think that I would park in this lot. The situation today? We're not happy that I came, and now we have to wait an hour for a hot dog. Wound up parking across the street on Academy Place, and we had to leave our key in the car because we're double parked with the car door open. So basically, my car may not be there when I get Some residents, like Chris Caputo, sees good old punctuality as the solution. I don't believe the parking is actually a problem. If you get here early enough, there's wonderful restaurants down here where you can go and you can park on Richmond Terrace, you can park on the side streets for free and enjoy yourself at those restaurants. If you come at 10 to 7 on opening day, you will have a problem with parking. The Yankees have done more than enough to uh, make the parking available in, in the left field part as well as parking around on Wall Street and the other lots. And uh, in fact, they've even guaranteed that the municipal lot, which usually closes at 10 o'clock, would stay open to accommodate all the parking. With a record 7,483 fans on hand, fans were also subject to long concession lines. Some Islanders were calling for more moving vendors to reduce the pressure on the concession stands. Only time will tell if these problems can be remedied. I'm Michael Tater for SILive.com.